Hello everyone, my name is Adele and welcome to Toadstool House Art. So it's been a long time since I've sat down like this right in front of the camera but um, I did realise I've been to like quite a few places recently so I'm doing like a it's a little bit of a haul video just this bit of the beginning um, because I last week I went to um, it's a farm shop uh, well it's a discount food shop but it's next to a farm and so you can go and see the animals before you go in uh, which is what we like to do and there were chickens there were uh, alpacas um, but they were in a different field so I couldn't get any good footage because they were too far away um, but then they have all these little animals like birds and some of them I'm not quite sure what they are but they have guinea pigs as well it's all really cute but the reason we would go there or the reason I wanted to go there um, was because they sell other things and they sell they started selling paper bags now these are perfect for me um, for my you know I've been doing a lot of fairs this year I've actually just booked into four or five more so I will update my events list on social media soon because it's it really needs updating but I found this place is far cheaper than online so I got eh, I think I pretty much wiped them out of paper bags so I got all these brown ones because like brown packaging is very much my sort of aesthetic um, I got a load more of these pink ones so but you can see these were $1.99 per pack so I think you get 100 per pack um, but that's really good like online you're paying that or more so like why why wouldn't I and I got some big ones as well because I needed some a little bit bigger because uh, some of the things I sell now like my headbands they don't go in 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 these so that's good um, and they're all paper which I like but I did end up getting three packets of um, just ordinary carrier bags because occasionally someone will buy a lot of stuff and I do have some paper bags with handles um, but they're only so, so big so I'm like oh, fine plastic but I think I've overdone it really so I've got three packs that's 300 bags um, that's gonna last me literally years because I, I like I say I rarely need them but sometimes I do have bigger items at the bigger shows so I thought why not because they're very very cheap like I say it's all discounted stuff uh, and then on Saturday I went to what I would call a mini comic con um, I actually applied to get into it and I missed out because uh, it filled up immediately stall holders people must have been waiting at their computers I I was not I saw the email an hour or two later and it was already full so that was a bummer but I wanted to go because it's local it's like really close to where I live so I went and it was packed absolutely packed um there were people like inside outside everywhere because it, it's in like a heritage center so it's a big place so like people would go for a day out there anyway um but yeah loads of people in costume and I went into the main building and it was just absolutely packed um a lot of kids so I didn't actually do any filming in there because one I could barely move and two you know I don't really want to be filming other people's kids <laughs> not for my channel anyway um, so I actually, so I've got no footage. Um, so I came out because it was quite warm, and I ended up going around the antique centre they've got there. So all I have is footage of some very nice antiques for you. So, <laughs> but I like we go around there. Like if we ever go to an event that's it's because they have a big shed which they use for events. If we ever go there, um, we always have a mooch around the antique centre because you never know what you're going to find. Because it says antiques, but it's really kind of antiques, vintage, and even some modern collectibles. Like, I've had graphic novels from there and things. But that was good. Um, but yeah, the only thing I ended up buying was like a tiny penguin kiwi. <laughs> but it was mostly for kids, but I absolutely would have loved to have got into that. Because I think there was only one other artist. So I think I would have done really well, and I'm so mad I missed it. Ugh. Anyway, uh, because of where it is, if you go up the road... Um, it's only about a 20 minute walk, you can, you can get to some shops there, so that's what I did afterwards. So I went to, what should we start with? Oh yeah, I went to B&M, right? And I finally succumbed and got myself one of these! <laughs> okay, so this, it is a bird feeder, right? Um, and obviously I, ca I can't put this outside. 
because two of our cats are outdoorsy cats so this would just you know it would be as much food for the birds as it would be for my cats i can't do that <laughs> so but what i'm thinking is keeping it inside and hanging um putting like a plant in one of those like ones that's got all the long bits i don't know what they're called i'll have to look that up but yes hopefully a real one um and then if it dies i'll replace it with a fake one <laughs> But no, I mean, it seems quite sturdy. It's got this wire on it, but that was only four pound from B&M. So not bad. Um, <laughs> and the other thing I got, which you've already seen behind me, is this, right? So it is a one and a half meter by one and a half meter strings of lights and these, and yeah, IV vines. So I've got this, well, I've got the box here, so cost me £20. Um, it's not quite how it looks like on the box because on the box it shows you all of these strands coming down all the same length. They are not not the same length at all. In fact, this one, no, where's it gone? This one's quite short. <laughs> See this one goes to here and the other ones go down here. Um, I don't know why this is and this one is a loop. It's not a string, it just loops back up. So it's fine um like i say i paid 20 pounds for this um that's what i'm thinking this is for so it looks like there's a big gap now <laughs> there we go <laughs> nope never mind that's because that that loop one doesn't come down so yeah it's not it's not exactly how it looks on the box um so i'm hoping to take this with me to some of the big comic cons because sometimes i get a nice backing board and I never put anything on it because I've never got anything to put on it. So, because I don't have like big prints or I don't sell t-shirts I can put back there. So I thought this might be useful because I can put this up um, with some big safety pins. Um, because you can't use anything that's actually going to damage the wall. You can use Velcro or you can use pins and that's it. So I'm going to take this, hopefully. Hopefully it'll work. Um, and I thought it'd be it's just nice for like a background thing occasionally, of course. While I'd been putting this up, the cats have been staring at me and Salem snuck in because it started jiggling as I'm putting it up. And I'm like, what's happening? Salem was on the other end of one of these just pulling on it. So they have been banished. Um, <laughs> so they can stay away. Um, and then what else did I got? Oh yeah, I popped over to boys. And I got, I've never seen these before. It's a Kilmer jar. Oh gosh. I don't know if this is going to show up very well, but it, it, it's a strawberry. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but like, like it's got the seeds impressed on the glass and around the top it's got leaves. I was like, oh, that's so cute. No idea what I'm going to put in it, but it was two twenty nine, so that seemed that's a good price for a Kilmer jar. I think I've seen, I've definitely seen them go for a lot more. Um, my mum is super jealous. <laughs> in fact, I don't think I don't think I should leave this out here. So I should go come by and lick it. Um, and then from B and M. No, yes, from boys, I got a bunch of storage containers. Ugh. So I went for the green ones. Now these are the exact same you can get pretty much anywhere. They are the Wham Studio ones. Um, but in Bionet, in boys, damn it, they are much cheaper. Like these, I would normally pay a pound for, but you can see there. Come on, you might be able to see. Um, it's 89 pence. So, like, I mean, how can you go wrong, really? Um, so I think all of these together cost me about £16, which, if you if you buy storage boxes, that's that's pretty good. Like, that one was also 89 pence. Um, like I say, I've paid a pound for these. Like, I've got white ones and I've got some pink ones um, because I bought them when I first started my business, when I didn't really realise you know what I want my style to look like or how my branding was going to look but I think I'm going leaning towards the colour green um I'm not saying I'm going to replace all the ones I've already got with with green ones or if I do it'll be a, it'll be a very slow process I might save the pink ones for um maybe for storage here and then take these to the show um maybe but honestly this isn't isn't a lot it isn't a lot in fact I think I bought um the last ones so <laughs> yeah if you can't find green it's because i have them all um yeah, so i think that's everything in the whole portion 
yeah so yeah i just thought i'd show you that real real quick um but now i have a mug to print so i'm gonna get on with that so while i'm making this mug i thought i might as well tell you what happened to me uh yesterday because <laughs> I mean, it wasn't funny at the time, but maybe it's better now. <laughs> um, so yeah, yesterday was fine. Uh, got up, got washed and dressed, came back to my bedroom, and the door would not open. Um, I'm like jiggling the handle and everything, will not come open. And guess, guess where my phone and my laptop and just everything is? Trapped in my room. So I am trying everything to get in. Uh, even taking the door handle off and like poking around inside and it just won't budge So like some part of the mechanism it wasn't loose or anything, but it just stopped working uh, And I'm trying to I was in the middle of messaging back and forth because I've got into a artisan fair at the weekend and it's one of those um, You're not confirmed until you paid for it type deals and so I'm like, oh no, I really need to get in back in and finish this um, cause it looks like I've just like ducked out of the conversation cause he's just sent me the invoice. So it looks like, it looks like as soon as he's mentioned money, I've disappeared. I was like, oh, this looks so bad. Um, so I had to, I had to borrow my mom's laptop and message this guy and just be like, I am so sorry. I, I am, I'm trapped out of my room. I can't access my banking or anything cause my phone and my laptop are both in there. Um, he was really understanding about it though. Um, so that was good, but then of course, you, you know, I swear, printers can tell when you are stressed. Because um, I needed to print off the, the mailing labels for my, my Etsy orders, and of course it wasn't working. Um, fixed it eventually though. Uh, but then I just, I ran out of time to even try and fix the handle, because I had to go to work. So, <laughs> so yeah, I just had to spend the whole day, no phone, nothing, which felt really weird, like, I don't know. I know we're all too reliant on our phones, but it feels really weird to just like exist with that one for a day. Um, eventually, I did get back in. Um, my dad managed to do it for me uh, with the help of a few YouTube videos. So <laughs> I'm back in now, but the only problem being I now no don't have a door handle at all because uh, we had to take the thing completely off. Um, so it's just. <laughs> There's just a hole in my door where the handle is supposed to be. Um, and I've had to put... Oh God, I've had to put, right, something through the hole to, so I can pull it open and, um, when I'm on the other side. So I've had to take an old sock, put it through the hole and knot it in both ends. So right now, my bedroom door handle is a sock. <laughs> it's so... Oh God. I mean, the cats are loving it because if i'm out of the room they can just push their way back in if i'm in the room i can add on i can put a box behind it to block them out but they still try <sighs> yeah so yeah i think i was locked out of my room for six eight, ten hours um i mean for several of those i was at work so it wasn't too bad but yeah it was a day um Oh, and I paid for the fare I'm doing this weekend, so it's all sorted now. But I could have done without that stress. Okay, let's see how it worked. Hey, there we go. <laughs> so, I should probably explain uh, about this mug. Um, this is going to be a gift for a friend who is having such... Oh, shoot. Mmm. That's upside down. Oh my god. Okay. Pause. Come back. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> let's see how it turned out this time. Oh my god. 
I cannot believe I did that. I mean, I can. Um, <laughs> I can because I said to myself, don't put it on upside down. It's really easy to do because everything's mirrored. Uh, there we go. That's better. <laughs> okay, so as I was trying to explain, I've got a friend who is going for a little operation. Well, I say little. It's not major, but it's not, you know... Yeah, you know, it's still an operation, so I'm I'm sending him some like uh, like a little care package over, and so I wanted to do him a mug because um, right. Let's so look. His favorite color is orange, and he's Scottish, so that's why he's a big brave man. That was terrible. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, as for this one, uh, <laughs> that'll just go in the cupboard. We'll we'll use it. Um, it didn't print very well anyway. It came out kind of blurry. Um, the machine's been acting up again. So yeah, I just need to wait for that to cool down. And in fact, I can show you the stuff that I got. So I got him um, some face masks because he's going to be in bed. And then I got him a bunch of like snacks, uh, everything. I tried to make everything um, orange. <laughs> so I hope it doesn't make any it um, the package too heavy. Uh, if it does, I might have to take some sweets out and keep them for myself. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to uh, package this up and uh, get it posted out later. Milo! Milo, sit! Sit, Milo! Absolute maniac. Come on, let's go! wipe it on me okay so uh good news um i applied for an artisan market that's happening about 20 mi minutes away from me um but it is this sunday and it is now friday so um i want to make up some stuff for that but i found these mugs now these i mean i know they just look like plain white mugs but these were in a box um half a half full box and and I can't I can't think where I've got them from, but I think I've not printed on them because they're not like up to quality. I think these are the mugs we bought maybe a couple of years ago, um, and I didn't really like very much because they're a bit smaller, and I don't think they lasted as long. Um, like you you know how a mug can stain on the inside. I don't think they were as good, but I think I just put them away because I didn't want to throw them out. So I had an idea of doing these really sort of like simple designs and then just selling them off very, very cheap so that they don't just, um, you know, get thrown away. Um, so I think I'm going to do these and have like just a, you know, just a mug sale at one end of my table. So I've done these um, little designs. I just did these in Procreate re really, really quick. Um, so I've got some mushrooms, some frogs and some strawberries. So I basically just did them so I'm not using up too much ink. So that's why that's why there's no background colour or anything like that. So yeah, I've got about 20 mugs. Um, I don't need all 20 for this weekend. But yeah, I'm just going to do some mugs like this for... I guess, I, I guess I'm going for kids, really. So yeah, just some really fun, cute signs. So I'll get on with these.
so all the mugs are done um they all came out looking pretty good um like i say these aren't the highest quality of mugs you can get i mean i think i bought these a long time ago before i really sort of like knew what i was doing um but the quality is not bad and i did a unicorn because uh, somebody asked me for some if i sold unicorn stuff and i was like oh no sorry because i thought they'd kind of fallen out of fashion but uh no apparently people still like them um <clears throat> Oh yeah, it wasn't the smoothest process, because like, check this one out. It's all... Oh, you know what, it's much worse in real life, but it's all yellow and faded and gross. Because um, it did that thing where it like, overcooks it. So look, look, that's the paper. It was absolutely burnt to a crisp. <laughs> so my machine does that. It's, um... I know I mention it every time, but it is a little bit on the older side. And yeah, I had to put good side so I knew which one to use because that one doesn't do so well so yeah but it will just it will just openly lie to me about what temperature it is and I have to keep switching it on and off again to reset uh, anyway uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here for this week um, because like I said it is Friday and my blog my vlog is supposed to go up tomorrow and I haven't even started editing it um, but I just really really quickly needed to get these mugs done uh, so I can take them with me to this artisan market on Sunday. So yeah, <laughs> I know this this vlog has been very mug related, but like I kind of didn't know that was going to happen. So yeah, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Wash, wash, washing? I mean, thank you. Um, I, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.